Hello, I'm Laura Senior, Senior Vice Principal at our Centre for Growth. In today's episode, as a response to requests, I'm going to explore how new staff are supported in the onboarding process when they join a Dixon's Academy. We heavily invest in the professional growth of all our staff to help them to have a successful start with us. What is the purpose of onboarding? New staff understand our trust mission and values and our culture of high expectations. They understand the rationale for what we do and how we operate. They know how their role links to achieving our mission. It's an opportunity to introduce our deliberate practice culture. They can meet their wider teams. They receive supporting documentation. It increases confidence for new staff to help them settle and it ensures consistency in current practices when new staff join us. What does this include? For some of our academies, all new staff, associate and teaching, attend a weekend induction event. If they're joining us at the start of an academic year, this would typically be in May, led by the senior leadership team. We revisit our trust mission, our academy values, routines and systems, essentially explaining our culture of high expectations. Deliberate practice forms a large part of these sessions so that new staff have the opportunity to practice key routines before they start with us. They also receive any support documentation. This event is a great opportunity to communicate the rationale of why we do what we do. New staff will spend a day at the academy Again, if they're joining us for the new academic year, this would typically be in June. We again revisit our values and key routines, but also it allows this new staff to spend time with the department they will be joining and to meet the wider team. Teaching staff receive their timetables and it's an opportunity to review where department resources are stored, such as long-term plans and schemes of work. Some academies operate a buddy system New staff are paired with a legacy member of staff who they can speak to at any point about any aspect of the academy. It is an informal form of support, so this day is also an opportunity to meet their buddy. For any early careers teacher who is able to and where the academy can facilitate this, the early careers teacher will join their academy directly after they finish their course for an extended induction period, which is very useful to shadow their team at the end of the summer term. New staff will also receive an additional training day before legacy staff join them at the start of the new academic year. Again, this is an opportunity to revisit our culture, our routines, and of course, there's opportunities for deliberate practice and feedback. Beyond the individual academy, there is a wider trust on boarding schedule for all new staff, which is calendared throughout the year. Different sessions are tailored towards different roles. For example, there's tailored associate CPD or new to SLT CPD, which has a dedicated program. At many of our academies, there's a new staff program, which runs in addition to CPD for legacy staff. This would typically run throughout cycle one and would be an opportunity to practice routines and continue to develop knowledge about operations and systems as well as opportunities to ask questions to ensure clarity. Throughout the academic year, there are also further opportunities to support all staff, associate and teaching through their frequent coaching check-ins, which is an offer for all staff. Please take a look at the episodes on coaching and the talent specialism. New teachers will also attend whole academy practice. For staff joining throughout an academic year, we recognise the importance of mirroring the induction process that we put in place for staff joining us at the start of an academic year so that all staff receive a quality induction. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this useful. If you haven't already done so, remember to sign up to our open source platform.